All right, so I've shown this off before. This is my Lego 9 volt wire tester. Um, I have tutorials for making your own Lego 9 volt cables, repairing them, um, because the insulation just flakes away over time. And uh, this is one I repaired, and it probably just looks like a normal wire to anyone. So that was very important to me to find a wire that didn't have, that looked good, because uh, yeah, I like aesthetics. So the problem is, when you're making these, you're gonna have two issues that can come up. Um, these parts of the connector come apart and you're gonna snap them together and it's going to clamp into the wire with these little blade contacts. And what happens is sometimes you can get a short circuit or you're not getting continuity through both of the wires to the other side if either one of the connectors are bad. So I built this and you can see it's got an adapter there. Um, this is just a cable that I've shorted the wires right here. So this is going to simulate a shorted wire and you can see the red light lights up. And if it's not shorted, it doesn't light up. And then this is how it would test a wire. And so we know both sides of the wire are good and we can move on to the next one. And building this was a lot of fun, but it was a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> And the wires inside here are just stacked in a very creative way that makes it possible. There's only one way to stack them really. Um, you can change one and then change another somewhere else and make it work. Um, I had to go look through photos <laughs> to see how I built it because I didn't want to take this one apart. This is, uh, I don't know, this is the one I've been using. I'm kind of attached to it now. Um, and I didn't want to just take it apart and then not be able to get it back together. <laughs> So what I've done is I've assembled all the parts and I'm going to build one for you. So this one's actually built on an 8x16 uh, plate. Um, I couldn't find one on short notice. So this is a two 8x8 plates uh, just kind of joined together. And this is a very dirty 9-volt uh, battery box. This battery box I think works the best because you've got all these electrical contacts to work with. Otherwise, you're going to have a stack up to here <laughs> of wires. So I, I like this the best. Um, so that's what I'll be using. So let me get all the parts together and we'll start building. Okay, so for the parts list, you're going to need at least three Lego 9 volt lamps. Um, I like to use red for if it's a short and then green for the two that test continuity. I also like to have a lamp to tell if the power's on. I have left this on many, many times, um, and that's why I use rechargeable batteries because I'm, I'm just really bad about leaving it on, <laughs> um, killing the battery. So you definitely, it's very easy to do. I would use a rechargeable and I like to have a lamp to let me know when it is on and so let's attach it there that's how that's exactly how i have it uh in here is there's a light nine volt lamp under there and these are the harder ones to find um in the u.s you might pay about five dollars for one of these you might be able to find it cheaper um, but certainly not like a quantity if you want to get a few of them because these are really cool to have these were from a cool era um you know the nine volt system and you're also going to need uh, six sets of wires. Um, you can make your own if you want and uh, just test as a multimeter until you get your tester built. But in this case, I didn't want to go through all that trouble um, just to record this short little video. I already have my tester. It it works okay. That's why I'm not going to do a full build instruction because there's, there's just wires all in here. Um, I will update my Flickr and make sure I've got enough pictures that you can see how it's built. Um, but honestly, all of it, most of this was like pick a brick parts I had and, you know, just whatever I had on hand just started filling in and, uh, you can see, you know, like that's where the wire comes through there. You know, I just had to get creative to, uh, make it all fit together, but I have faith in you. If not, you can look at my pictures. <laughs> so let's take these three. These are a little bit shorter. Um, probably maybe for monorail. I think there was a couple of sets that had short wires like these. And what we're going to be doing is you'll notice how these connectors work. It's basically from the top to the side and then the top to the side. And
and we're going to use that to our advantage. So first let's set up our to test for a short circuit. And we're going to put one connector off to the side here. And so it's got the connector on that side and the bottom. So it's actually only going to connect to this side of the wire. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Okay, got my tablet on silent. <laughs> All right, so um, the easiest way to do this is, like I said, just follow exactly along with what I'm doing. So we're going to set that there. That's going to be continuity on one side. This other connector is going to go just like that. And like I said, the orientation of the wire, everything has to be exactly like this. Then we're going to add our lamp and you can put a uh, one by two brick there if you would like. And then this side is going to go the opposite way. So that's how we're getting power to it. If you'll notice, it only has two connectors here. So if you connect a wire like this normally, it wouldn't do anything because it's only getting one side. You know, one of these wires is actually going through. But that's actually what we're counting on here. So we've got it coming in one side for one side of the lamp and the other for the other. And I'm going to try to snake this around like this, just like that. So what we're actually doing in order to short this is between this side here and the diagonal side to get to the other side. And it actually goes both ways, but it's fine. Now let's test it. And that's how it works so that'll detect if you have a short just like that and I could simplify this um, with three connectors and um, kind of make a triangle of wires <laughs> um, but these connectors are a little finicky if you're trying to get just one wire in or two separate wires in I'm just not gonna worry about it um, but you you could do that if you wanted to <laughs> so that is our short detector. All right, for this next one, I'm going to take the shorter wire and we're going to do one side of the continuity test. And I'm going to place it just like that. I'm going to take my two green lamps and put them on either side. And then I'm going to take another wire and go like that. So both the wires are coming out on the same side here. And then it's going to get power from there. This connector is going to go on top of this one in the opposite orientation, just like that. And then this wire is going to be the other side. And hopefully I've got that right. I'm just, I've got my tablet over here looking at a picture because <laughs> uh, it's really hard to wrap your head around these connections. Like you're looking at, okay, it goes to the bottom there. So it's probably going to the, that part of that light and that's going to be negative. Um, it was kind of a, it was a bit of a, a trick to get this <laughs> going, but I eventually got it. So that's one, two, perfect. And on my wire tester, I actually, just to keep these, help keep these in place, I've got, you know, these um, slopes on the back here. So you only have the one stud each to go to. And then I've got the little slopes here. Um, so that's another thing you can, you can add on later. Because for this one, that's all you need. For this, you need those four studs in order for it to work. Because you're making a diagonal um, connection. For these, you only need the bottom four. And again, you have to connect the wires just like this with the wires coming away from the tester. And then we've got our two green lights. So this video was suggested by Rogue1874 on a YouTube comment, because I had meant to do this for a while. I didn't know if anybody really was interested, <laughs> but apparently someone was, so I'm glad to share it. And like I said, from here, your imagination is going to carry you the rest of the way to fill in all the rest of these, these uh, 
bricks and make something that looks nice. You could do a whole different form factor if you want to. Once you've got these built, you know, these circuits built, um, you could, you can just take them and, and move them around and try to find something that works well for you. And, you know, one last time I'll, I'll kind of show this is how this looks. Again, I will have uh, my Flickr links in the description so you can kind of see up close details and kind of work in progress pictures and stuff like that. And I think I did a fairly good job. There's where a bunch of wires, bundle of wires comes out there and they're just kind of snaked through and tried to cover them up as best as possible. But in certain places I ran out of room, like right here. Um, and so how you build this is going to differ by how long your wires are and how much you're trying to stuff in there. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.